Let Madness Global Viewing Public. It's time for another episode of Monday Madness. I'm Scott Gunn coming to you live from the Executive Directory of Forward Movement in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I'm here with Tim Skank, who is also coming to you live from the Rectory of St. John the Evangelist Episcopal Church in Hingham, Massachusetts. Hello, Tim. Hello, Scott. We have a hotly contested battle going on today between Perpetua and Cecilia. Hearts are being broken. We'll see who comes out on top. Yeah, we'll see if Cecilia is going to be singing a victory song or, or singing a defeat song. Yes. Is that a thing? Well, she's the patron saint of music, so. Oh, yeah, a defeat song. Anyway, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's always uh, more or less good to see you and happy <laughs> Happy Monday Madness. You know, we've gotten some questions, uh, mostly from some folks who are newer to Lent Madness, but they've asked us, how is the bracket formulated every year? Right. And of course, the answer is the Supreme Executive Committee, that's the two of us, meets in a secure, undisclosed coffee shop. And we go in and we sort out the bracket and we don't leave until the purple smoke emerges from the chimney. That is correct. And um, sometimes um, uh, sometimes people think that we just take like 2,000 saints and we put them all into a giant purple hat and then we just pick pick them out. Um, it's a little bit more scientific than that. Not, not a whole lot more, but a little more scientific. Um, we also uh, accept nominations during Easter tide. Yes, that's exactly right. Nomination tide. Yeah, so people can, um, sometime after Easter Day, at a time and date of our choosing, we will open nomination tide, and people have a week to leave a comment on the Let Menace website with uh, the name of a saint and why they think that saint should be included. And it's a very dem- democratic process. Anybody can make a nomination. Um, the only other way that you can accept, that you can send in a nomination, you can't leave a Facebook comment, you can't call and leave us a voicemail, if you write your nomination on a $20 bill in pencil, um, you can mail that to us and we'll accept a nomination that way as well. Yeah, that's, um, that's the smallest uh, denomination that, that will be accepted. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, so we have nominations and then uh, you and I get hundreds of nominations. We go through them all and uh, we are trying to build a bracket that has some familiar names. So you'll look at the names and say, oh, I've heard of that person, and some names that might be new. Yeah, and we try to get uh, saints across uh, the whole spectrum. Um, We look for saints ancient and modern, monastics and mystics and martyrs, and and just, you know, we try to to build it um, to be pretty comprehensive. I hear some Sanctus bells in the background. (laughs) Yeah, I was just going to mention that that's uh, George the dog uh, getting a drink. And new Lent Madness fans might be interested to know that George uh, drinks too much water. And more interestingly for Lent Madness fans, he is named after 2010 Golden Halo winner George Herbert. Yes, and, and he's also on Twitter, so you should follow George T. Dog. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he doesn't say a lot about Lent Madness, but occasionally he does. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Um, I guess the other thing that we should talk about is voting. Yeah. Well, wait, can we go back to the bracket for a second? Oh, of course. I love talking about the bracket. So, um, so then we, uh, so we, we get some familiar names. We get some new, uh, some, some new names. We try to get a, a balance of clergy and laity, uh, bishops, deacons, priests, lay people, people of different races, people from different eras. Um, so that people can see that God, that the saints are all kinds of people, um, and which is kind of cool. It is, and uh, and and then and then we um, we drink uh, a lot of single origin coffee. Yes, and um, and the bracket emerges, and and again, as Scott mentioned, the purple smoke goes up. So it's yeah, quite a process. It is, and people often ask us if we engineer the bracket to try to ensure a certain outcome. <laughs> Uh, no. In fact, there's a reason why, uh, why I, I don't ever fill out a bracket because I'm always wrong. So yeah. even, even if we were going to try to engineer an outcome, it wouldn't work. Right. 
So, uh, so anyway, that's a little of the behind the scenes of how we put together the bracket. But uh, important for you to know is that you'll be able to submit your names, uh, your suggestions um, in a few weeks. Yes, indeed. So voting. Uh, we started to talk about voting um, because of uh, some uh, voter fraud. Uh, somebody who cast oh, 0600 or so votes for Wenceslas on the opening day. <clears throat> we um, changed the voting plugin that we use, the, 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 p the piece of code that controls the actual voting that's on the Lent Madness website. And we know that some people, a few people are having trouble voting. And um, sorry about that. Um, wish everyone was not having trouble voting. All I can say is it's working for around 7,000 people a day, so we know that it's working. If you're having trouble, we suggest that you use a different browser or restart your computer or try it on your phone or something, but, um, but it's, it's working for a whole lot of people. Yeah, which is good. So we, we do apologize for people that have... It's frustrating if you have trouble voting. Um, Scott, would you like to do a dramatic reading of the code? <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be that dramatic, actually. Oh. Okay. Um, right. But yeah, it's, it's part of our effort to the new plugin has some better security features and it's, it's designed to make it a little harder for people to stuff the ballot box. And so some ways if people are having trouble, they could restart their browser. Yeah, they, you could just close, close your um, Chrome or Safari or whatever Microsoft uses these days. Restart, close your browser and reopen it. You could restart your whole computer. Um, or you could just try a different browser. So if you usually use Safari, you could get Firefox, it's free, or Chrome, get someone to help you do that. Um, if you normally vote from a laptop, you could go to Lent Madness on your, on your phone. And um, it, it, the, the Lent Madness website works great on a phone or an iPad or, or whatever you have. Hi, Sherilyn. Uh, Tim says hello. <laughs> um. Uh, so, so that's helpful. Some of you don't know this, but Scott used to work for IBM back in the day. So if you have any trouble, you can call him at, uh, no, 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 no. No, if, if you're using a mini computer um, or a mainframe for your voting, uh, some IBM big iron hardware, uh, I can help you with that. I'm qualified. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. All right. Well. I think that does it for another week. We've got another full week. Today's Monday. We've got five uh, action-packed uh, comp competitions up for today, matches. So, so that should be good. And hope everyone keeps coming back to the website and uh, voting and learning and leaving comments and having a good time. It's been good. Well, Scott, happy Lent. Happy Lent. Happy Lent.